Now showing at the Barn Gallery in Woodland, California is The Lighter Side, Humor in Photography. This show is a collaboration between YOLO Arts and the Viewpoint Photographic Arts Center in Sacramento. It features the work of 19 photographers who are also select portfolio members. And today we have a preview by Rebecca Gray, who is a Viewpoint Gallery board member and a professor at Sierra College. Hi. My name is Rebecca Gregg and I'm from Viewpoint Gallery in Sacramento, but today I'm in Woodland because we're doing a cooperative exhibit on the lighter side of photography between Yolo Arts and Viewpoint Gallery. So I'm your guide. Come on inside. I'm going to be masking up and keeping with the times. And it's so important now that we keep laughing a little in these dark times. So I want to point out Celia Clark's sweet piece here where the ninja warrior seems to be jumping on the passing by bicyclist. Only photography can show that moment in, arrested in time and yet still show the blur to imply that the guy is actually riding by. It's just that split second. I kind of suspect that she might have waited uh, use the right shutter speed so that he's close enough and blur shows and the fun of having those two things in the same frame juxtaposed is really humorous. When we move here, the title becomes important. It's called The Scream and can't you see it? It doesn't it remind you of the famous painting with the wide eyes, a gape mouth and hair up in the air. And actually it's not, but our tendency to try to make, to animate and make faces is called pareidolia. It's a human tendency to make sense of things. And one of the first things of course we make sense of is faces. So John uh, made that very dramatic capture there uh, and again adds humor through the title. The title is always important. This is an untitled one by Richard Halliburton and uh, it doesn't need words to communicate its meaning that the hikers are going one way and the hunters are going another uh, and probably that's mess but it is a very funny um, juxtaposition again of two objects and this is Richard's also I only want to say the title of here is aliens and so the, the telescope that's used for tourists to be able to see and now they're only looking at us. The circle is one of the hardest shapes that you'll ever try to have in a comp composition because once having gotten there why would you want to leave especially with something so beautiful and familiar as an Oreo and all that texture but then look up at the edge about the two o'clock position where a beautiful fly has landed and so those two things make you go from oh to ooh. You know, it's quite fun, I think, and brilliant colors, really beautifully seen by Michelle. She made an, another nice capture here in the animation of this, you know, geese are great guard birds, and the guy is kind of having to uh, box them away, and so that interaction with you know, humans and uh, animals, very fun. In another situation, this image by Diana Coleman might not strike us as funny at all, but given the title, Keep Away, This Is My Porn, that you now see the egret uh, in the front as being uh, much more protective of that corn. Otherwise, I would just see this as a beautiful photograph of silhouettes taken at the golden hour and not particularly humorous, but with the title, I'm led to see the little um, possessiveness that's going on in the, the dance between the two. This is a much more involved photograph in terms of the detail that David Kolb has created. And what's going on there is that the man, who is the actual uh, subject, has positioned himself alongside the statue. His foot is the same, his ball cap, he's reading a newspaper, his eye direction looks like he's reading over the fellow's shoulder. It's really humorous and it is just that street photography that is a little bit posed in this case, but we're quite willing to go along uh, with seeing the humor because it is so funny. The life-size statue helps. 
I'm sure by this point you're seeing pareidolia all over the place. Here's Gay Kent, she saw it that day in the walls of the canyon, the grumpy sandstone walls and the lines that seem to form eyes, nose, and mouth. The cactus is much more happy, but the sandstone just can't be, can't be seen smiling that day. And David Kent, uh, Dave has shown us human behavior. When we arrive too late, we have to see, you know, we're still so interested and curious, we have to peek through the window. And that's part of humor, is when we see ourselves in the situation. We recognize ourselves. Here, Keith Berger recognized that how lucky he was to see the egret reading the sign, as well as all of us reading the sign, and those two things together. But look at this wonderful capture. Part of what makes it a great photograph is that you're close, you can, uh, the bird is standing still instead of flightily going away, and, and we see the detail in, in his morning exercises as well as the fence. It's a really fun photograph. Talk about fun and funny. Here's the parade, uh, the colors, the akimbo legs, the repetition of all the feet all, either off the ground or in step. It's um, really fun to see adults playing like that. You can almost hear the music. It's uh, the Winter's Parade Marching Band. These two pieces by Steve Nislami are uh, funny in different ways, I think. The, the light side of it is a man is wearing a huge rabbit a uh, big face, and the positioning of the camera is looking up at that, so it's even enlarged more. And that's a little scary to see something like that. But the detail here that I'm enjoying is the texture that's on that. It's almost like a Polaroid manipulation that Steve has introduced, and so it's playful, like it's an illustration in a book. Here we uh, see the guy who has a turtle tattoo on his arm. Is that up, uh, like telling secrets with the T-Rex? and it's called the T-Rex Whisperer. And two composites by Jane, Jam Lightfoot. And I'm particularly drawn to this because it's a beautiful photograph with the shallow depth of field, the stop action, the lifting of the wings. And as a threesome, it looks uh, to me like the outside or like parents trying to teach the um, middle one, oh no, do it like this, you know, in the Zumba class. It's really a fun image, I think, because it's, it captures and holds the sense of motion and relatedness. I think uh, we can all see the humor. Here we are at the Great Wall of China, and it is the sign says "No Climbing." This one, by, uh, this is also by Marlo McClurgan. It's uh, the dark. Uh, humor, dark comedy, uh, with the uh, title being Friday Night Choir, and the fish are uh, singing upward on Friday Night Supper. Larry Coleman has created a huge aquarium inside an old house. He's also done this wonderful piece that has three different kinds of eyes watching you. You have the video camera uh, that's spying on us all as down at the bottom, the dove who's got his eye trained on us, and then up towards on out of frame, uh, almost out of the top of the frame, is an out of focus blur gargoyle that's been there for hundreds of years watching and protecting. And the, his alignment of those uh, objects together make it really funny. Jim Wilson saw a cat in a stare down contest with two um, uh, stuffed fish that are certainly out of place. And we, we love that, you know, because we love seeing our animals behave uh, in unusual ways. The horses are out of the corral and at the house. <laughs> They're out of the barn and the sign says no trespassing. Here, Ellen has uh, taken two statues, placed them in another surrounding with forced one-point perspective and draws our attention. We are eyeball to eyeball with these very funny faces. Karen Connell is a dog lover and dog trainer as well as a photographer and a, a charter member of Viewpoint, by the way. Uh, she is undoubtedly saying, best day ever. <laughs> That's the title. I would think she's saying best dog ever in some ways, you know, because this, this puppy is really proud of themselves. This is Karen's about free cash. Don't we wish? 
And here, who can, who doesn't know with the desire of kittens and dogs to be with us? And then this little cat's pulled the covers up high, sleeping on his or her back, ready for a good night with their master. And we'll end this overview of the show with Judy Yemma's beautiful still life. Judy often arranges plants and vegetables, fruits, in different positions, different ways than we think of them. So look at this. This eggplant has become a full covey of little hatchlings in a created nest with beautiful lines and color, and the background is so simple and draws your attention. The lighting is perfect. It strikes us as really funny to investigate eggplant in a different way. I hope that you'll come, uh, enjoy these face-to-face, -face, and investigate the lighter side of photography. <laughs>